We're taking you to Twin Valley, Minnesota this morning, where farming has been part of the family for five generations. But this family extends much further than the property line. We learn more about the importance of community and giving back in this month's Cream of the Crop. Hey everybody, this is James Hendricks for August Cream of the Crop Award. And today we're here with Mark and Rhoda Habedunk and wanting to share their story. We can't be more excited about not just sharing what farming means to them and everything that they've done to this point, um, but also how important it is to give back to the community and, and a fifth generation farm. So Mark and Rhoda can't thank you guys enough for everything that you've done. I'm super excited for everybody to hear this story and, and just wanted to award you with the Cream of the Crop this, this month. Thank you. Yes. Well, that is awesome. Any chance we get to highlight the rural area and the benefits it has and, and how we can contribute to it is valuable. So I want to thank you, Absolutely. James and Northwestern Mutual and KVLY for this opportunity. Hi, I'm Mark Hubbardunk. I farm in rural Twin Valley with my wife. Uh, we farm family land that has been in our family for five generations. We raise corn, soybeans, sugar beets, edible beans, wheat, and I always said, and boys. <laughs> so five generations, can you explain that? So the farm was homesteaded by Norwegians, not Germans, and Habedunk is a German name that means have thanks. It was homesteaded by a Norwegian by the name of Ole P. Nelson in 1886. And it went to his daughter, actually, which was my grandmother, Emma, and she was married to the Hubbadunk. Everything was about self-sustaining. They didn't look outside for a lot of things, but they did look out to building schools, building churches, building a community, the city of Twin Valley was actually formed in 1886 as well. So it, it coincides with our family farm. We've seen a lot of changes. It is very much a data-driven, high-tech business that it has evolved to. And very excited to be at this point doing what we do. Can you explain a little bit about now your operation and who's involved? I have a brother and we farm separate businesses, but work together. On our farm here, we have a great crew of long-term employees that I just can't, it wouldn't work without them. And without my wife, you know, the family help and the employees that, that just step up and take care of business for me. Value the people for the skills that they have, recognize that, provide them opportunities to train, advance if they have interest in a certain area, but it's really about valuing the people and the skills and what they, what they bring to you. You've spoken to community involvement and how important that is multiple times. Can you explain that a little bit more? On different levels, we're involved in community. So our community of Twin Valley, our community of, of neighbors, it's a small town. You take part, you're on committees, you help with parades. We just had our town and country days. And when you're the people that live here, you kind of host it. You need to be involved with it. And my wife has worked in the school system here, very small school at Norman County East and working with the kids. And the other community we have that's been very important to my family is our faith community. Just down the road a mile from our farm is Wild Rice Lutheran Church, a little shameless plug we are 150 years old, July 30th of this year. So yeah. we are celebrating that. My grandpa was involved, my grandmother, my mom, my dad, my brothers and sisters are, are still involved in this little rural country church to keep that going, minister to people, help people. Congratulations again to them. If you know a farmer you would like to recognize, submit your nomination at valleynewslive.com. Just click on the cream of the crop tab. It's at the top of our homepage.